Hi, my name is Frank Kinigas. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And today we have an awesome topic. It's called the importance of physical activity for you and your loved ones. Well, here it is, the importance of physical activity for you and your loved ones. As you are probably gonna figure out, every time I start a video, it's gonna be about you and for you. After that, we'll expand. I think it's very important that you know that you're very important. Remember that you are very, very important. So now, in order for you to stay physical, physic physically active, then you gotta maintain your body physically well. I know we already talked about uh, water, the importance of water, the importance of fiber, the importance of oxygen, flossing and brushing. Yes, today it's just a little extra, a little more, something phenomenal. It's taking care of your feet, taking care of your toenails. Those are very important. Usually those are the ones that cause trouble to many people and they stop moving because of pain. What causes pain? Cutting your nails the wrong way. You're supposed to cut them straight. Uh, don't go into the sides because if you do, then chances are your nail is gonna grow into your skin and you're gonna get an ingrown toenail. If you are a mother or a father raising children, many times what they do is they give them the nail clipper. Here you go, cut your nails. The kid is learning and trying and sees little pieces trying to cut everything and they learn how to cut their toenails the wrong way. Teach them how to cut them the right way. Cut them straight so they can stay physically active. And I hope you start cutting them straight. If you're not, if you are, congratulations. Cut them straight, stay physically active. Staying physically active is very, very important. You know, ask a mechanic, what happens to a car that you don't start for a long time? You know what they'll tell you? They're gonna tell you that the engine gets stuck. And many times if you don't start it for a very long time, it'll get so stuck it won't even go on anymore. They would have to open it and fix it and put it back to work. You know what happens to the human being that, that's not active? They, they start not moving, they, they start getting stuck. You know, many times they go to work, come back, have a drink or two, they start doing less physical activity, less physical activity, to the point that later on their knees hurt, their joints hurt, they feel pain. Why? Because they're not physically active. Stay physically active, it's very, very important. Around my neighborhood, I get to see people that are 60 years old, 70 years old, and they're walking around. They know this information. Now you know it too, use it to your advantage. Now, okay, so that was you and for you. Let's extend it because I said it was for you and your loved ones. What about your loved ones? Your loved ones, keep physically active. What am I talking about? about? I'm talking about hugs and kisses and going out for walks. You know, if you go out and walk for your, by yourself, it's good. If you go out with a family member, that's excellent. If you go out with a, the whole family, it's great, phenomenal, fantastic. Go out and talk to them. Listen to each other. Listen to your kids. They love to talk. Just listen, give them an opportunity, stay active, physically active. Also, let me tell you about the power of hugs and kisses. Well, before that, let me tell you a story. When I started teaching more than 20 years ago, many, many years ago, I was a first grade teacher and one of my homeworks, besides reading and math and all that good stuff, one of my homeworks was to, I would tell my children, your homework is also to come back tomorrow, the next day, with your hair nice and combed. And you know, we always get a parent to the complaint. So I did get that one mother comes in the office, says she wants to talk to me. She comes to my room and starts talking to me and she complains. Why does it have to do anything with education and me combing my kid's hair? And I said, well, lady, let me tell you, when you're combing your kid's hair, you're sending messages. You're sending a message of love, a message of care, a message of being important. If you don't want to show that to your kid, it's up to you, do whatever you want. She changed her face, she changed her perspective. I could have sworn maybe there was a tear in her eye and she says, from now on, you're gonna see my kid with his hair combed. It makes a big difference. Uh, get physically active with your kids. You know, I have three kids. I have a 27 year old, well, I had three kids. Now they're all grown up. I have a 27 year old, I have a 25 year old and I have an 18 year old. And you know, every time they come home, they hug me and they kiss me. There's a universal law that's called giver's gain. Whatever you give is what you get. If you want them to grow up without any love and then expect them to hug you and kiss you later on, forget it, it's not gonna work. Do it now that they're little, comb their hair, hug them, kiss them, 
guess what they're going to do as they get older? They're going to hug you and they're going to kiss you and they're going to take care of you. You know, they did a study already. They did a study with monkeys and it said that the monkey that only got the food in the water died a lot earlier than the monkeys that got physical contact with the people that were taking care of them. Imagine, monkeys, they're dying because somebody's not touching them, and somebody's not hugging them, somebody's not interacting with them. If you don't love your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, if you don't love your little ones, don't hug them or kiss them. The study already shows that they're gonna die early, earlier than they were supposed to. You know, it may be sad. I don't know if that's what you want for your family. The importance of physical activity is very, very important. Start hugging them, start kissing them. Start telling them that they're important. Comb their hair now that they're little. They're gonna let you. Later on, they're not gonna let you, so might as well take advantage. Comb them. Anyway, it's a great thing. I think this is great. Uh, if you're a teacher, share it with your students. Give them the little homework and see what they think. Uh, you know, start hugging your mom, your dad. Start hugging, it's important. Give them a high five. As school, as teachers, there are rules and regulations. So what I do now is uh, high fives. However, notice, if you're a teacher, if, if you're around children, notice them. They don't hesitate to hug. They love hugs. They don't care, they're little. They don't know about rules and regulations. They know about what they want. They know about what they feel. They know about what gets them excited. They'll come up and hug you, even if you're a stranger. Don't be a stranger. Hug your kids. Hug your spouse. Hug your brothers and sisters. Well, this is it. Remember to subscribe and share. Hopefully this information, you found it valuable. You found it worthy of sharing, worthy of creating a different world, a world of love, a world of peace, a world of getting along with one another. You know, if you're happy, you act happy. You be happy. You do nice things. If you're mad, then guess what? You're going to do bad things. Stay happy. Hug. Until next time, I'll see you later. Remember to subscribe and share. Till next time, your friend, the ambassador of reading, Frank Kinigas, wishing you well today and always knowing that you will find and get what you are looking for.